Welcome back to Jet Set Radio. In the last part, we completed two more stages in the game and unlocked the last two main characters in the game. So, no more rival, uh, battles, thankfully, or rival showdowns. And this episode of Jet Set Radio will most certainly be the finale of the series, because we only have two more stages left to complete. So in the last part, we discovered that the Rokuku group is looking for a record called the Devil's Contract, which apparently has the power to summon a demon. And they pretty much carpet bombed the entire city of Tokyo Toe trying to look for it. And after freeing Shibuya, Kogane, and Benten from them, they snatched the record. And now we need to go and stop them. So you know what? Let's let's go and do it. Let's go, let's go stop them, guys. Let's go stop them. Alright, so the next stage we need to tackle here is called Behind the Mask. Now I believe this stage is just another one of the stages where you're uh, chasing after uh, members of a rival gang and just spraying their backs. And uh, I believe that's all you have to do in the level, so it's pretty easy. And you know what? Just because I haven't uh, played as her since, like, the beginning of the series, like in Part 2, I think I'm actually gonna use gum for this, because... If I'm not mistaken, all I have to do is just spray the backs of some of some guys, so... If I don't have to spray any actual graffiti, like tag anything, then... This, this should be fine. Those faceless vandals. Poison Jam arrived without their masks. Something's wrong with this picture. Have they been brainwashed? Tag their backs. So yeah, we need to just tag their backs right here. Apparently they've been brainwashed, and... It's just showing us where where they're going. So, I know exactly where they're going, though, because I have uh, played this this uh, level before. Yeah, and we, we just we just start right here as well. So, yeah, as so you can see, we have the, the number 10s again, so that means we just have to spray their backs. We can just start looking for, uh, for spray cans. But I think there are some down here. So, yeah, this level's not really that hard. As a matter of fact, I believe behind, over, behind here, there's some uh, paint cans. Yeah, there are, actually. Yes, indeed, there are. There's 11 of them in total. I'll just pick up all of them. I don't remember how many uh, spray cans that uh, gum can uh, hold, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to go and spray all of these guys. I don't even know where the heck they went, for goodness sakes. Where the heck did they go? Uh, yeah, I have no clue where they are, but maybe if I can... Okay, I was going to say if I could jump all the way over there, then maybe I could pick up those... Those, uh, giant spray cans get even more paint. But I guess not, because I suck at jumping. Oh, how you guys doing? Wow. Okay. They just knocked me down, for goodness sakes. Alright. Well, let's go and, uh, let's go and chase after them. Give chase! Gotta give some chase to them. Alright. How you doing? Maybe I can cut one of the guys off, I don't know. How about I just jump over to here? Yeah, there we go. Grab all of that. There we go. That's how you, that's how you play the game. That's how you truly play the game, for goodness sakes. Alright, so she can only hold up the 15. Alright, so there's... Oh my god, dude, like, seriously. I didn't even... I didn't even notice him there, for goodness sakes. Wait a second. There's another guy coming around. Maybe I can cut him off and, uh, start spraying him. Spray him. Oh my god, okay. Really? Really? Is, is, is this how we're gonna play it, then? Is this how we're gonna play this? Fine, then. I'll just... I'll just do this. Alright, start the spraying. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's what you do. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. You just spam it. You gotta spam it. That's that's what you have to do in, in these these levels. So yeah, this really isn't that difficult. You just have to spam this, and then I can just go and collect some more. Have the ones behind the truck respawned yet? Uh, no, they haven't, so I need to go look, look somewhere else. And I guess I have to avoid these guys actually hitting me as well, because... Well, actually, I don't need to worry about that, because I just have some health right here. And I'll just pick that up. Actually, there is more- there are more paint cans up this way. Yeah, over there. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna go and grind on this. And jump over to here and just pick this up. Alright. Yeah, that guy- that guy right down there is- is done. He's- he's not moving anymore because I sprayed him. This is actually a different guy right here. But I'm gonna s still spray him anyway because I have to. Come on here. He's trying to get away. I won't let him. There we go. So now there's just one more guy left, and he only requires five more five more sprays, and then he'll he'll be done. He'll be down and out for the count. So yeah, this really isn't isn't difficult at all, but I need to try finding some more spray cans. Like, where where the heck are they? Uh you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go towards you right now. I need to find more more paint cans. Come on here. There has to uh has to be some of them somewhere. I'm not gonna pick that up. Uh okay, the ones behind the truck respawn, so. All I need to collect is, like, five of them, so I don't even need to collect all of them here. Yeah, it's seven. Okay. 
let's go back and uh, go and try to spray this guy right here. All right, I can just probably just just spam this if I can get if I can get close enough to him. Yeah, I know he's performing some tricks, and of course I can't grind on that because I'm terrible at this game. But he's gonna, I think he's gonna jump off. Yeah, or or no, he's gonna keep grinding on the rails. Holy jeez, where the heck is he going? For goodness sakes, hey, how you doing? He's gonna play hard to get. But I'm gonna come after him. He... I... He won't be able to escape my wrath. He's not gonna escape my wrath. Come here. Where... Wait, where the heck did he go, for goodness sakes? I don't even know where he went. Okay. Because they move... They move so fast that they... They, they tend to get away from me. But he's not gonna get away from me this time. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Well, I got... I got one spray in. Okay, hang on. I see him jumping from... From the, uh... The buildings. Come on. Maybe I can, I can try cutting him off. If he's... If he just stops back over there again. Actually, no, he's still going. Okay. Yeah, this guy... This guy is gonna, gonna do this. He's gonna do this nonsense, I see. So, I'm gonna... Try and find a way to stop him, for goodness sakes. Okay. Well, if he's just gonna stay on top of the... On top of the buildings, then... I really need to try and... Find a way to get, get up there as well. Because he's not even stopping either, so... Come on here. Hey there. Come here. Come here. Oh, jeez. Oh, gotta jump towards him. Come on, I'm so close. And there we go. There's your spam. There's your spam in a can, and we are done. And now, we only have uh, one more stage left to go, guys. So let's just return to the garage and look at this uh, cutscene. We will do just that. Also, I like when uh, when Beat was interrogating that member of Poison Jam. He was just dancing while he was doing it. So, it, it's... Oh, this game's amazing. Here we go, guys. The final stage of Jet Set Radio. Final Groove. Here we go, then. And you know what? I think for this one, we'll just play as the leader. We'll play as the leader of the GGs. Leader has to take the big guy down. Let's play as Beat. Alright, well, here we go, then, guys. Final stage of Jet Set Radio. Let's do this. You've come this far, have you? Watch me obliterate Tokyo with my secret weapon. DJ Play will summon up demons. Let's get down! Alright. We're gonna get down. We're gonna get down with the sound. Alright, let's do this then. So yeah, we got this gigantic golden rhino over here. So I have played this. I do know what, what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna try and go, go past that health right here. So what you gotta do, gotta grind on these rails right here. And you just need to start spraying. However, you do need to be careful because, as you can see, we do have that uh, golden rhino. And this guy is actually going to start spitting fire at us right about now, so we just need to... The thing we need to do is that we just need to go to the very edge and just get out of the way so that the fire doesn't hit us. And then we can go back and start spraying again. I don't know where the heck he went exactly. Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't pick up enough spray cans, darn it. Okay, I need to go back then. I need to go back for a second. Hang on. Let me just pull off those sick moves. Give me that, please. Okay, there. And now we can just now we can just go back. Yeah, while he's while he's spinning fire, that'll that'll give me enough time. That will give me enough time. Why the heck is the game lagging, for goodness sakes? There we go, that's it. So that first part is down. There's four different parts that we need to uh that we need to tag here. So I think uh you know what? I think these are all like like big tags as well, so I think I'll just like pick up try to pick up everything here. And okay, I just fell. Yeah, don't worry. If you fall off the building, it's not like an instant death. So, you will just get teleported back up to the to the top and wow, okay, seriously. Yeah, another thing I should mention is that see, we're on a gigantic turntable and this thing is spinning as as we're uh, as we're trying to jump here. So, it's really difficult to time my jump sometimes. All right. So, we got to time this just right and I think we'll go now. We will go right about now and okay, that's not what we were okay 
Hang on a second, is there is there something easier that we can take out? Yeah, that platform's gone now because we've taken care of it. What about this over here? Okay, here. Let's go like this, and not like that. Holy jeez. Okay, I need to try and stop hesitating here, for goodness sakes. Hang on. This thing over here actually looks a lot easier. Hang on a second. Let's try and jump over here. Yeah, you know what? This looks a lot easier. Let's go and let's go and take this out first. I'll take take care of the hard ones uh, last. Just take care of the easy ones first. Yeah, I see you coming. You ain't gonna stop me. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and get out of the way. So that he okay. Well, so much for getting out of the way. He just he just hit me for goodness sakes. And actually, I didn't realize I was I was so low on health. Holy jeez. Okay, hang on a second. All right, so that's done. That's done now. Okay, I should probably try and, and pick up some health. Oh yeah, the, the entire platform's gonna collapse too, so... Oh my god. B, don't. Okay, thank you. Alright, now let's try going to the, to the to the harder ones right here. Oh jeez, okay. Now, how how do I time this right here? Maybe I can jump on this like, like that. And I won't be able to... Oh wow, okay. What is that physics defiance? Okay. Sure, that works. Okay then. Uh, that didn't work at all. Okay, I'm not gonna get out of the way of, of this in time. All right. Uh, just just wait. Okay, now we can we can go. The fire doesn't do that much damage to me anyway, so it's it's fine honestly. There we go. All right, that's three of them taken out. Now we just need to try and uh and go back. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a nice jump. There's a nice jump. And the turntable I believe starts to spin faster once you take out all the other platforms. Now, I think I'm just gonna try jumping to, to... I was gonna say jump to that platform over there, but of course that didn't work. Okay. Give me some, uh... Give me some more paint cans, please. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick all of them up first before I go over there. Uh, okay. Jump now. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try to time this a little bit better this time. Alright, jump. And, okay... Because he keeps he keeps rolling off for goodness sakes. I need I really need to try timing this better. Okay. Let's 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 do this here. Let's do this, okay? Just wait. Jump. Jump over to here. And jump! There we go. Got some distance. Now we just start spraying. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna just run away now. Go to the very edge. So that the fire doesn't hit me. There we go. Even though it looks like it really should, because it reaches all the way over to me. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. And then he just goes away. And there we go. So that's all four platforms taken out. And now I think... I think it is fine if we just if we just fall off now, because we'll just go back to the start. So now what we have to do... The Golden Rhino's been destroyed. So now all we have to do is just tag Goji, and that'll be it. So... The final stage of this game is really not that difficult. Of course, all the debris rains down, and now it's all over the turntable, but that's okay. That's fine. I just need to get enough speed so that we can hit the- okay. Yeah, so we can hit that rail, but not with our face. <laughs> Hold on a second. We'll- we'll get this. Okay, I just need to- I need to try going around this right here. And, uh, okay, don't grind on it like that. What we need to try doing is grind on it like this. Yeah, right there. And then just- Okay, I was pressing Q and it, and nothing was happening. Beat, please. Stop- stop- stop doing this. Okay, there. Yep, just tag his head, and that's it. Goji is dead. And with that, guys, we've completed Jet Set Radio. That's it. We've completed the game. Turns out, the record that Goji was looking for, the Devil's Contract, 
was just an old Henry record, a hoax. Maybe his twisted mind created the whole story out of rumors and superstitions in order to try and save the demons of his own heart. Nevertheless, the noise tanks are in repair. The love shockers are all broken-hearted again, but poison jammed back and planning more mischief. In the end, it looks like they were the same as all of us after all. They've been looking for something more, just trying to make sense of their own lives. Perhaps not, but how can anyone know the real truth behind it all? Alright, so there we go, guys, and... Whoa. What in the world was that? Okay, that was a really bizarre graphical effect there. <laughs> or graphical glitch, I should say. I don't know what the heck is... Yeah, what the heck is that? There's like a weird, like, blue line going going through Beat's face. What in the world? Look at this. What in the heck is that? Okay. But, um, yeah, there you go, guys. We completed Jet Set Radio, so that's the, that's the end of the game. So, yeah, Jet Set Radio is actually a pretty short game. I wasn't expecting it to be this short, honestly. I honestly thought that this game was going to be uh, a little bit longer, but, yeah, there you go. It, this game only takes, like, three or four hours to complete, at least the... Uh, I guess like the the solo campaign, if you if you want to call it that. So, yeah, but we're done now, guys. That's the entire story mode of Jet Set Radio. So, for those of you who even bothered watching this playthrough, well, as al as always, as I say at the end of every single playthrough that I do, thanks for watching this playthrough. But uh, even though Jet Set Radio is done, I was actually thinking about making a uh, bonus video of the series. Showing off some of the uh, other stuff that you can unlock after you've beaten the main story of the game. Like the Jet Technique stages and uh, Jet Crush and uh, Jet Graffiti. So I might still be showing that off in uh, like a bonus episode probably. But other than that, this series is now done. Just after 8 episodes. So this was a bit of a shorter playthrough. So I guess, I guess in a way this was kind of like a mini playthrough. But either way, hope you guys still enjoyed. I still had a lot of fun doing this and... As I mentioned at the beginning of this series, Jet Set Radio... Jet Set Radio is one of the games that really makes me wish I had a Dreamcast back in the day, because the Dreamcast had so many amazing games on it. I really wish I had one when I was a kid. But thankfully I can still enjoy them, because uh, most of them have been released on like, on like PC and the PS3 and Xbox 360, so... I can enjoy them now without needing a Dreamcast. So that's always, that's always great, so... Yeah, that's uh, Jet Set Radio. And uh, that's all I really have to say, so yeah, thank you guys for watching my playthroughs as always, and thank you guys for watching my videos, and <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say, I'm just watching Beat pull off these uh, these insane moves, these insane moves. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that you can also jump on the billboards in this game, should really try doing that maybe in some of the Jet Technique uh, stages that I show off in the bonus episode, but other than that guys... That's all I really have to say about this, so I'm just gonna stop rambling now and just let you guys uh, watch the credits. There is actually something that uh, does appear after the credits are done, and uh, it's not a game freeze. Okay, no. <laughs> what are you doing? But uh, yeah, there is something that does appear after the credits, so I'll let you guys watch that too. But other than that, thanks for watching this playthrough, guys. Jet Set Radio is now over. Another playthrough is now done, and naturally we're just gonna move on to the next playthrough. Anyway. I'll see you guys later.
What's that? You think I just made all that up? <laughs> sure, sure, okay. But watch out. Someone just might have their sights on Shibuya Joe again. On the street, there's no such thing as...